Hello, and welcome to my winter night routine. So I am a teacher, so my night routine starts usually when I come home from school and I let my dog out. We play in the snow for a little bit. Admittedly, I spend quite a bit of time in my bed when I get home. I usually am scrolling through TikTok, watching some YouTube videos, just taking a moment to kind of just lay down and recharge from my busy day. But when I decide that it's time to get up and start doing some stuff, I make my bed first and foremost, otherwise I know I'm going to get back in it. So the bed that I sleep on is actually a futon, so I usually just flip it up into a couch, and this also helps me not stay in bed. I put the blinds up, let some light in, and I live in Minnesota, so it's really cold. I turn my heater on, and then it's usually time for dinner. On this particular day, my family decided to pick up some food, and so I'm a vegetarian, and I got the Impossible Burger, or the Impossible Whopper from Burger King, and it's huge, but I really like it. Being a teacher in a pandemic can be really stressful, so I have found that taking time to do some yoga and meditation are very important for my mental health. Um, not only do I do this for my overall health and well-being, but I also do it as part of my spiritual practice. Um, it allows me to connect with myself, center my thoughts, and really feel grounded. Amidst the chaos that is the COVID-19 pandemic, I have found it very helpful for me to stick to routine. Um, I listen to a lot of different podcasts and YouTube videos from people that I wouldn't normally be able to connect with, especially right now when we're all social distancing and not able to travel. Travel is something that I really prioritize in my life and I love exploring and connecting with new people. So right now, it's been a little hard being at home all the time, but I have definitely found the silver lining to it all. These last few months, I have felt the most connected to myself that I've ever been, and I really, truly can honestly say I love myself, and it's taken a while to get here, but the journey has been worth it and having this routine has really allowed me to practice self-love so not every day this is a different kind of day but i will shower after i do some yoga meditation working out whatnot um, i don't wash my hair every day at all um, i wash it maybe once or twice a week and i've been trying to transition to a more eco-friendly daily routine so i have been using up the products that i currently have and then starting to swap them out for products that are a little bit more eco-friendly and sustainable while also being good for my hair and body I definitely hopped on the TikTok bandwagon and tried these Tree Hut body scrubs and so far I really like them. I feel like it is a good exfoliator. I usually use a little face mask in the shower and then one of these three cleansers to double cleanse. This is your reminder to take time to do more of what makes your soul happy. Happiness is something that I feel like everybody is striving for but not enough people realize that you can have happiness right in this moment. And that has been one of the biggest lessons that I have learned this past year, is that happiness can be found anywhere. And a lot of the times, the best source of happiness is inside yourself. My skincare routine has definitely been a self-love practice for me and a time to remind myself of the things that I'm grateful for. I am young, I'm only 22 years old, and I am trying to take care of my skin now and be a little proactive about it. Um, but yes, skincare, 10 out of 10. I'm still improving, but I'm really happy with where my skin's at now. I used to have really bad acne when I was in high school. Because I am a teacher, I usually end up giving away a lot of my energy to other people throughout the day. And so at night, I make it a priority to give myself that energy back and fill my cup back up. Whether it be working on different personal projects, reading a book, listening to a podcast, I take that time for myself. Every day is a blessing in my eyes and we only get to experience it once. So I try to do the best that I can to use it as an opportunity to have a good day. I'm sort of a recovering perfectionist, so I try to find joy in the simple things. 
I try to go to bed somewhere between 10 and 12, even though I totally could stay up later. I'm a night owl. Comment down below, are you an early bird or a night owl? Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button, and have a great day.